Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathTBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kisiedu. In this installment in the Developmental Mathematics series, I will discuss Ratios, Proportions, Rates, and Variations, Part 4, Rates 2. Rates of work problems calculate the amount of time that it would take a number of people to complete a job or task. There are two basic types that we will look at. In the first, all workers work at the same rate. And in the second, workers work at different rates. Let's look at some examples of the first type. One worker can complete a job in 12 days. How long would it take six workers to complete the same job, assuming that they all work at the same rate? If one worker works for 12 days, that is called 12 worker days. Since all of the workers work at the same rate, the number of worker days divided by the number of workers will give us the number of days to complete the task. So dividing the 12 worker days by 6 workers, 12 divided by 6 gives 2, the workers' units cancel, and we have 2 days that the 6 workers will take to complete the task that one of them would need 12 days to complete alone. 15 workers working at equal rates take 20 days to complete a job. How long would it take one worker to complete the job alone? Since all of the workers perform at the same rate, it would take 15 times as long for one worker to complete the job that 15 workers can do in 20 days. 15 workers times 20 days equals 300 worker days, so it would take one worker 300 days to do the job alone. How long would it take three workers to complete a job that 10 workers all working at the same rate take 12 days to finish? 10 workers times 12 days is equal to 120 worker days, which is the amount of time that it would take one worker to complete the job. Dividing the 120 worker days by the three workers, we get 40 days. Now, let's look at some examples of the second type of problem. If three workers can complete a job in 15 days, and two of the workers are three times as fast as the third, how long would it take one of the faster workers to complete the entire job alone? Since the work rates of two of the workers are given in terms of the rate of the third, a slow worker, let the slow worker have the base rate of 1. Then all three workers' rates can be represented by the ratio 3 to 1 to 3, since two of the workers work three times as fast as the base rate. 3 plus 1 plus 3, or 7, represents the number of worker days based on the rate of the slowest worker, and 15 days times 7 worker days, or 105 days, is the time that it would take the slow worker to complete the job alone. Each of the other workers is three times as fast, so it would take one of them 105 days divided by three, or 35 days, to complete the job. Let's digress for a moment and take a look at how long it takes to do a job if we know how long it takes to do a fraction of that job. If one-tenth of a job can be completed in four days, how long would it take to complete the entire job? Setting up a proportion, four days over one-tenth of a job is equal to the unknown number of days over the entire job. Since the entire job represents ten-tenths of the job, we can rewrite the proportion as four days over one-tenth of a job is equal to the unknown number of days over one job. Multiplying both sides by one job to isolate the number of unknown days, then canceling the job unit on the left side, we have four days divided by one-tenth, which equals four days times ten, or forty days, to complete the entire job. It takes Carl two days to tile the floor. It takes Sandra and James five days and seven days, respectively, to tile the same floor if each works alone. How long would it take if all three work together? In one day, Carl can finish half of the job, Sandra can finish one-fifth of the job, and James can finish one-seventh of the job if each works alone. Working together, all three can finish one-half plus one-fifth plus one-seventh, or fifty-nine-seventieths of the job in one day. Following the procedure of the last example, the entire job can be completed by all three people in one over fifty-nine over seventy days, or seventy over fifty-nine days, which simplifies to one and eleven fifty-ninths days, or about one day and four and a half hours. Carl can paint a house in four days and Sandra in seven days. If Carl, Sandra, and Fred can paint the house working together in two days, how long would it take Fred to paint the house by himself? In one day, Carl can finish one quarter of the job and Sandra can finish one seventh of the job. So working together, Carl and Sandra can finish one fourth plus one seventh or eleven twenty eighths of the job in one day. In one day, Carl, Sandra, and Fred can complete half of the job. 
So Fred can complete half minus 11 28ths or 3 28ths of the job in one day working alone. Fred can finish painting the entire house in 1 over 3 over 28 days, which equals 28 over 3 days, or 9 and a third days, which is 9 days and 8 hours. A compound proportion is a proportion in which one or more of the ratios are compound, that is, the product of two or more simple ratios. If 15 workers working 6 hours per day can construct a 200-foot runway in 40 days, how many workers working 9 hours per day are needed to construct a 300-foot runway in 30 days? Let's set up a proportion. Since 15 workers can construct a 200-foot runway in 40 days, to do it in 30 days would require the unknown number of workers over the 15 workers is equal to 40 days divided by 30 days. Solving for the unknown number of days by multiplying both sides by the 15 workers, the right side reduces to 40 over 20 times the 15 workers, or 20 workers required to construct the 200-foot runway in 30 days. Then we have the proportion 20 to 15 is equal to 40 to 30. To calculate the number of workers required to build a 300-foot runway in 30 days, we can set up another proportion. The unknown number of workers over the 20 workers is equal to 300 feet over 200 feet. Solving for the unknown number of workers by multiplying both sides by the 20 workers, we get 300 over 200 times the 20 workers, which reduces to 3 over 2 times the 20 workers, or 30 workers, which gives us the proportion 30 to 20 is equal to 300 to 200. 30 workers build a 300-foot runway working 6 hours per day, so working 9 hours per day would be built by an unknown number of workers over 30 workers equal to 6 hours per day over 9 hours per day. Multiplying both sides by the 30 workers, all of the units cancel except for workers, and we have 6 over 9 times 30 workers, which reduces to 20 workers required. Problems involving filling and emptying liquid containers such as oil or water tanks and swimming pools have the same basic structure as rates of work problems and are solved in a similar way. There are two basic types. In the first type, the container is only being filled or only being emptied. In the second type, the container is being filled and emptied simultaneously. Let's look at an example of the first type. If a 7 cm pipe, that is a pipe with a diameter or opening of 7 cm, can fill a tank in 10 minutes, and a 10 cm pipe can fill it in 7 minutes, how long would it take if the two pipes were used together? The 7 cm pipe can fill one tenth of the tank in one minute, and the 10 cm pipe can fill one seventh of the tank in one minute. So together, the two pipes can fill one-tenth plus one-seventh, or seventeen-seventieths of the tank in one minute. Using a proportion, the entire tank can be filled in one over seventeen over seventy minutes, or seventy over seventeen minutes, which reduces the four and two seventeenths minutes, or about four minutes and seven seconds. Now let's look at an example of the second type of problem. Pipe number one can fill a pool in nine hours. Pipe number two can fill it in six hours. Pipe number 3 can empty the pool in 5.5 hours, and pipe number 4 can empty it in 9 hours and 45 minutes. Will the pool remain full, or will it eventually be emptied if all four of the pipes are connected and pumping simultaneously? In one hour, pipe number 1 can fill one ninth of the pool, and pipe number 2 can fill one sixth of the pool. 5.5 is equal to 5.5 or 11 over 2. So in one hour, pipe number 3 can empty 1 over 11 over 2, or 2 elevenths of the pool. Since 9 hours and 45 minutes is equal to 9 and 3 quarter hours, or 39 over 4 hours, pipe number 4 can empty 1 over 39 over 4, or 4 39ths of the pool, in 1 hour. Adding the filling rates, 1 9th plus 1 6th, or 5 18ths of the pool will be filled by pipes 1 and 2, in 1 hour. Adding the emptying rates, 2 11ths plus 4 39ths, or 122 over 429 of the tank, will be emptied by pipes 3 and 4 in 1 hour. The LCM of 18 and 429 is 2,574. So in terms of the LCD, 5 18 is equal to 715 over 2,574, and 122 over 429 is equal to 732 over 2,574. The emptying rate is greater than the filling rate, so the pool will eventually be emptied. 732 over 2,574 minus 715 over 2,574, which equals 17 over 2,574, is the fraction of the pool that will be emptied in one hour. 
Again, using a proportion, it will take 1 over 17 over 2,574 hours, or 2,574 over 17 hours, which reduces to 151 and 7 17 hours, or 6 days, 7 and 7 17 hours, to empty the tank.